Hi, very good morning to all of you. Today we are going to discuss this particular question. The question is asked, for the real IELTS exam in the last week of September, 2021, Some claim that men are naturally more competitive than women. To what extent do you agree or disagree? This is the question that we are going to discuss today. A claim, it is argued by some, a claim by some. It's based, it's they say that men are naturally more competitive than women. So if you agree, you can state, yes, I agree and state the reasons. If you disagree, you can say disagree and state the reasons. Now, I don't want to give a general statement regarding competitiveness in the first part as we are intended to do. So this is an opinion question. In an opinion question, the format of the opinion question, the introduction of an opinion question is that generally you state it general statement and then you say whether you agree or disagree. But here, I don't need to say something about competitiveness. It is not that much relevant here. I need to stick to the topic. The topic is the argument, men are naturally more competitive than women. So that is the argument that we are going to present in the first sentence, we have to present it. And then you have to state your opinion Yes, I tend to disagree to this statement because competitiveness can hardly be measured on the basis of gender. So competitiveness can hardly be measured on the basis of gender. And this is the reason why I disagree to the statement. So this is an opinion question. We have to say straight the topic and what you're going to say in the introduction. That's what we have done. We have said we have addressed the topic very clearly it is argued started like it is argued when i state that it is argued it states that this is not my opinion it's somebody's opinion it's not my opinion it is argued means somebody's opinion somebody argues or you can say in general, it is said that there is a common uh, argument like that. You can say that it's argued that men naturally have a higher level of competitiveness than women. So the topic is presented well. Now I have to say the thesis. I tend to disagree to this statement. You can say, very clearly, the writer has not agreed to the statement. Writer has disagreed to the statement. And the reason is also highlighted there. Usually, we don't give reasons there. But here, we are, going to we are not going to explain more than one reason in this particular essay. We are stating only one particular reason for my disagreement. And that's why it is highlighted there in the thesis statement. Usually, when you agree or disagree, you will be having more reasons for your agreement or for your disagreement. And those reasons, you will be presenting it in the body paragraph one, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, like that. But here I do have only one reason to deny the statement. And that one reason is 
that competitiveness is not, it cannot be measured on the basis of gender. So this is the particular thing here. So when we have seen that competitiveness cannot be measured on the basis of gender, that's the reason. That particular reason should be explained in the coming paragraphs, usually. I disagree to the statement because I think competitiveness cannot be measured on the basis of gender. So this is what you are going to explain in the body paragraphs. Suppose if you are presenting one particular reason. Yeah, the first reason for my disagreement is, the first reason for my disagreement is if I am presenting like this. In the first paragraph, I'll be dealing with that particular reason, the explanation. The second paragraph, you'll be dealing with the second reason why I agree. In the third paragraph, you'll be going with the third reason why I agree like that it goes on. But here I do have only one reason that this is the basis of my argument. I disagree to the statement just because competitiveness can hardly be measured on the basis of gender. Fine. Now let's see in detail. So the first sentence deals with the topic. The second sentence is the answer to the question. And this is the thesis and this is what we have this, uh, described in the coming paragraphs. In body paragraph one, two, and three, we will be having the explanation of this particular thesis. So this is what the thing is. Now, I told you that this is not a usual presentation because in a usual presentation, if you agree or disagree, you will be having more than one reason. But here in this particular question, I disagree to this argument because of one particular reason. So the format is somewhat different here. So please note that this is not an essay which is written in the usual format. Okay. Now I have to prove, I tend to disagree to the statement because, of com because competitiveness can hardly be measured on the basis of gender. Now the explanation is there for these things in paragraph number one, two, and three. In the past, it was seen that specific jobs and activities were assigned to people based on gender. Now, I can say it, sorry. In the past, it was common to see that specific jobs and activities were assigned to people based on gender. You could see in the past. So they are telling something in the past. Because the, the words which are highlighted in the pink color is explained in the three paragraphs coming. Number one paragraph in the past. It was, the situation was like this, specific jobs were assigned to specific gender. Example, while women did cooking, men did agriculture. Okay, so women, they have done cooking, men, they have done agriculture. They were seen competitive in their respective fields. Men were very competitive in agriculture because traditionally they are doing that. They became experts. Women, they were cooking from generation to generation. 
they become experts from the day one from the childhood they are learning they know how to cook and till the end of their life they were cooking naturally they will become competitive in their respective fields because on what basis they have assigned these jobs i don't know but you can say that when they have got the assignments in their specific jobs they became competitive naturally <clears throat> they were seen very competitive in their respective fields and a belief god established that women and men and women show more competitiveness in distinct fields so when women are women became experts in cooking and men are experts in agriculture and they excelled in their respective fields a belief got established in the society that men and women show competitiveness in different fields and this is the background on which the essay stands and this is the basis of the argument it's argued that men naturally have a higher level of competitiveness than women okay so what happened next however as years passed in the past however as years passed the life style of people to changed i don't need this too it has become a necessity for a man to cook for his small size family when his wife goes out for work oh, we started giving examples in the very beginning itself so when years passed life style of the people changed it has become a necessity for a man to cook for his small size family so we are now living in a nuclear family with less number of family members and naturally who are all the members of the family they have to help each other for the smooth functioning of the family if man is out women has the homemaker has the responsibility and if the lady is out man has the responsibility at the same time we have the change there the social stigma of dominance in performance diluted slowly so the competitiveness stigma is uh, seen fading away when women excelled in the field when where men had supremacy so when men were dominant in some cases women showed their excellence in those fields and this made people think that women can also do such things as we can see example today we can see women as pilots in the past men were dominant there entrepreneurs in the past only men were there politicians in the past only men were there artists in the past only men were there and even space travelers male supermassy so we can see when we the society saw women as pilots women as entrepreneurs women as politicians the social stigma has got faded away it has got diluted and this is the thing so we can say that gender when we complete these two paragraphs we can say that gender is not a significant factor 
in determining the competitive uh, competitiveness. In the past, they have got a belief like that because they were assigned special duties and they became experts in that. And this is the reason why they thought that they were competitive in distinct fields. But right now the situations have changed and they interchanged their work and they became experts in those particular fields. And now some of the men can do better cooking than women. And some of the women, they are better entrepreneurs, uh, politicians than men. When the duties and responsibilities are interchanged, when the lifestyle have changed. Now, you can say it is to be seen that competitiveness is based significantly on different situations and opportunities rather than based on gender. Okay, so competitiveness is based significantly on different situations and opportunities. You can say it is not based on gender. In the first two paragraphs, we have seen it is not based on gender. And now I have to answer on which basis it is. I can say it is based on different situations and opportunities. For instance, when a man needs to do the household chores, when his partner walks in his uh, office, he naturally becomes experienced in these activities and often becomes more competitive than her. So situations make him competitive, not the gender. It is the situation make him competitive. Similarly, when opportunities are given to women in politics, they are seen exhibiting their exceptional skills there. So women politicians dominant, uh, dominate men politicians, you can see that at present. So we have the opportunity given to women there. So they exploited the opportunity and they excelled in their respective fields. So situations plus opportunities determines the competitiveness and not the gender. And we can say to conclude, it's clear that if measured on the basis of gender difference, one cannot determine the level of competitiveness. So the level of competitiveness is not based on gender. It depends on other factors. Thank you. So we have concluded all the three paragraphs in a single sentence. Thank you.